I think he was spot on. This team has really struggled in this World Cup qualifying phase, and it started with Jurgen Klinsmann. He was fired, and I think was probably rightly so, after that embarrassing loss to Mexico at home and another loss on the road. But now Bruce Arena stepped in, and they lost at home also. And now the honus is all on Bruce Arena to take this team to the next level. And he's not playing. He just turned 66. He's definitely not playing. He needs to put this team in a position to get to the World Cup. They're in that position right now, but it's on those players. Like you said, Michael Bradley, Clint Dempsey in his new role, Jeff Cameron. They need to take this team to the next level. You cannot miss the World Cup. Absolutely not. I think that's the, the biggest issue right now, is there, there isn't anybody like Alexi Lawless calling these people out. In, in almost any other sport, you have somebody like Skip Bayless who's calling somebody <laughs> out. That's a bad example. But, <laughs> but yeah. I mean, you, you still need these type of people to motivate these players. I mean, I, I, I mean we live in an age where all these athletes, most, most of them are, are on Twitter, social media, whatever it may be. They hear the outside world kind of talking to them. Now, whether they want to ac accept that they hear that, that's a different story. But you need people kind of urging you on, especially like Alexi Lalas, former player. He was, a, he was a very good player in a few World Cups, and he really sent a clear message to this team. They have Panama at home. That should be a very winnable game. It's in Orlando. It's, it's a must win. It's, it is a must win game. They're right now tied for, in fourth place with Honduras, nine points. You just had a draw with Honduras. You had a chance to potentially create a, a little bit of room. Couldn't quite do it. You play Panama at home. That has to be a win. Absolutely has to be a win. Then you go on the road, Trinidad and, and Tobago, that should be a win. They're last in the group, and they're pretty much out of it at, at this point. You need to get six points out of these next two matches. That'll get you in the World Cup. Four might be able to do it, get you in that playoff spot. That's part of the reason why Jurgen Klinsmann was axed so early is because he was putting these players in situations where they had never really played before they got to the U.S. men's national team. They were playing out of position in that match against Mexico where they lost at home in Columbus. They played three at the back, and I don't think the U.S. had played three at the back of any World Cup qualifying stage until that one match, and he threw it on them right away. But then you saw Bruce Arena. He basically had two different teams when they went down to Mexico City to play Mexico in that, in, in, in that second game. He, he had one team play in the, in, the, in the home match, and then when they went to Mexico... It was basically an, an entire new team. He has this team prepared. They have a vision, and now they just have to go complete it. Yeah. CONCACAF is, is just a, kind of an interesting region, if you will, just in, in world soccer because you have so many kind of different styles of play right. with, with these teams wanting to maybe push the tempo a little bit. It's, not, it's a little bit of a different style of play than you see here in America or, or other countries. I think U.S. wants to play more of a possession style while all these other Hispanic teams, they want to push it up and down. And, and I think that causes the U.S. a little bit of, of discomfort, especially when they go on the road. At this point in the group stage, getting to the World Cup, you just have to get to the World Cup. I don't think it matters at this point. Is that the goal? How, yeah, yes, that, I, I think that, that is the goal, plain and simple. You can go on the road. If you need to win 1-0 at, at, at Trinidad, so be it. This team has to get to the World Cup. You were talking about it in your monologue. They've been given everything. Alexi Lajala said it when, when he went on, on, on his statement. They've been giving everything. And you need to capitalize on that. Soccer's never been bigger in America than this moment right now. You have to capitalize on that. I don't care how they do it. It just has to be done. Right. That's why they fired Jurgen Klinsmann and brought in Bruce Arena. They absolutely respond. And I don't know if it's because Alexi Lalas went on this big rant. I just think they're going to find a way to get this done. I think within kind of the, the, the team and Bruce Arena, he's going to get this team to where they need to be. That's why he was brought in, and he's going to complete the job. It, 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 it has to happen. We're talking about soccer. I mean, I, I think it's a huge thing that here at Indiana University, we're talking about soccer. Now, I know the, the soccer program has been so big and so, so successful for so many years, but that we're having these conversations, I think, is just means soccer has come such a long way in this country. And going back to the U.S. for a sec, for them not to make the World Cup would really kind of tarnish what, what soccer has built up to be in the United States today.